Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here, investigating your favorite albums. And today I'm going to do an album review on the latest Leanne Lahava's album. Leanne Lahava's, the self-titled album, basically. So Leanne Lahava's is a UK singer-songwriter specialized in the neo soul region of the musical realm and she had dropped a couple records before the self-titled already but for some reason she isn't really all that famous or anything but damn she is just really really talented because on this record she really offered uh, a collection of just very beautiful sweet gorgeous neo-soul tracks that are hard to resist. This album is packed with nostalgic guitar chords, great angelic vocals, very sweet guitars as well, and the production, while it's not very fancy, it's not full of layers, and it doesn't feel uh, artificial or modern at all, it's actually very raw intimate and it feels really warm and up close which is one of the reasons why this album is just so it just feels so honest it just feels so real and um the album starts off with bittersweet and the last track is also bittersweet but uh, technically uh it's the album opener bittersweet and it is a fantastic opener it is groovy it has a little little four four beat opening and then we just enter this really peaceful uh really hypnotizing very dreamy space where we get these gorgeous guitars really gracious lush keys and also very beautiful smooth girl group vocals and it is just a fantastic album opener it immediately catches your attention the second track is even better uh, read my mind it is extremely extremely catchy really fun and groovy as well i really love the gentle drums but it's the very driving kick drums that makes this track so compelling and engaging and once again very catchy also very danceable and the sharp shots of synths really make this track even more colorful and flavorful and tuneful and overall i just really 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 love this track for some reason read my mind and then the third track is green papaya and once again it has this really nice warm summery feel to it uh, while instrumentally speaking this track is a little bit more stripped back there is uh, keyboards but they're very vague very quaint very faint and the drums are pretty much non-existent on this track uh, however we get these very nice sweet prickly guitars which are really nice as well as these swirling arpeggios which are really beautiful and uh, this track is still really sweet. Do I think this is one of the uh, more uh, eventful tracks on the album? Not really, but still very solid track overall. And the next track, Can't Fight, provides some really beautiful soulful vocals, funky percussion, nice guitars with a crunchy tone, and also passionate vocal harmonies. Another uh, really solid, sweet neo-soul jam, really. Uh, next up we have Paper Thin, and this is the least eventful track on the entire album. Instrumentally, uh, the most stripped back, I mean, if you, if you don't count the interlude, of course. Uh, and on this track, the vocals, they sort of take the, the driving seat on this track. They take the spotlight, and they're not bad, they're really great. But with the drums being so quiet, so subtle, and with not without any, you know, significant guitars or anything this track is really not one of the better tracks on the album uh, and then we have the interlude which is pretty much within the same vein uh, just an interlude about one minute long uh, in length and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty quaint song pretty small song some angelic vocal harmonies and that's all uh, however the rest of the album is just simply fantastic uh, Weird Fishes up next, and it is actually a cover of a Radiohead song uh, of the same name, Weird Fishes, Arpeggi, from the album In Rainbows. And uh, 
given that Radiohead is like my favorite band ever. Uh, of course, I was excited to hear this. And even though uh, this track isn't as uh, tight or as urgent or as colorful as the original, I still think it is a very, very impressive cover. Uh, again, we get the drums. They're not as tight. They're smoother. They're spacier. But yet it fits Leanne's more uh, smooth vocals. And... Um, the uh, middle section of the track really quiets down, but towards the end of this track, it, all the instrumentals, they just explode. They just reach a very, very dense, thick, saturated climax, and it's really crazy. It is easily the loudest and noisiest moment on the entire album, and I just really love the passion behind this cover. Uh, up next, we have a Please Don't Make Me Cry, another highlight on the album for me. And this track is angelic. It is angelic. And it is also a really wonderful marriage between pop music and neo soul. Uh, the hooks are really catchy. And during the bridges, we get all these layers of ghostly vocals, and it's really soft and tender. The warped guitar chords are great. The very soft hip hop beat is also a really nice touch. I love how lush the chorus is, as well as how jazzy the instrumentals are on this album and on this track as well. Uh, up next, we have the track Seven Times, uh, and this is definitely one of the more low key tracks on the album. The drums are chunkier. The vocal melodies may be a little bit more repetitive for my taste, however, I really like the jazz flute solo towards the end, really, really gorgeous, fits really well. I can't, I can't find a phrase, fits like a, like a key. Um, the lyrics on this track is about a broken love, uh, essentially, which is vastly different from many of the lyrics on other tracks on the album, and it is a pretty refreshing change of pace lyrically. Uh, up next, we have the track Courage, which is uh, a bit of a ballad. It is quiet, but absolutely gorgeous. The chords are dreamy, they're hypnotizing, and also these very quiet sliding whistle sounds. They just, they just make this track so much more engaging, and I really love it. And towards the end, we have Sour Flower, which is a near seven minute long closer. And it is a very nostalgic, grandiose ending to the album. The vocal performances are very passionate and very loud on this track. Also extremely impressive, and uh, the instrumentals are gorgeous. Everything about this track is just solid. So yeah, overall, there really isn't much to complain about this album. A majority of the tracks are sweet, summery, catchy, poppy, angelic, gorgeous neo-soul. And uh, it's just a really, really beautiful album. Yeah. So uh, my favorite track here is, uh, I, I really have no idea, by the way, Read My Mind, probably. And uh, my least favorite track here is uh, Paper Thin. I am giving Leanne LaHava self-titled a decent 8 out of 10. So, have you listened to the latest Leanne La Havas from 1 to 10? How much did you rate it? Like, give it a like it, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching. I will be reviewing Taylor Swift uh, either tomorrow or a couple days later. And I will do a review on Blue and Exile uh, in August. Yes.